Hey everyone, it's November 28th, and that means that if today is your birthday, you share it with French serial killer Thierry Pauline, known as the Monster of Montmartre, who murdered at least 18 elderly women in the 1980s. And that is him right up there. I'd like to apologize for my terrible French pronunciation. Pauline was born in 1963 in Martinique, the child of a teen mother and a father who left for France just after he was born, abandoning the boy. He was raised by his paternal grandmother until the age of 10, at which time he moved in with his mom, who had since married a local man who also had children. Pauline tried to blend in with his new stepfamily, but was often violent towards his siblings, and eventually his father agreed to take the boy to France in order to avoid paying child support. As a mixed-race child at an all-white school in a brand new country, Pauline had trouble fitting in. He was a poor student, but it's hard to say how much of that was due to his difficult upbringing. Joining the military at 17, he was stationed in a parachute unit, but as a gay black man, he was ostracized by his peers. In 1982, Pauline committed his first violent crime, robbing an old woman in a grocery store. The grocer recognized him and he was quickly apprehended. He received a two-year suspended sentence and in 1984, he left the army. Pauline found out that his mother and her family had moved to a suburb of Paris and moved in with them. All of the old troubles he had fitting in were still there, and his mother didn't approve of his new job as a performer at a drag club, where he especially loved to mimic Eartha Kitt. While working there, he met a drug-addicted man who became his lover and accomplice. The two attacked a pair of elderly women, aged 83 and 91, beating and robbing the women, smothering one with a pillow until she died. This was the start of a violent murder spree that saw them kill eight more elderly women in October and November of 1984. Some were suffocated with a plastic bag, some were beaten to death, and one was forced to drink drain cleaner. Pauline later told police that he killed women who he thought had been rude to him when he tried to talk to them. The two lovers were living the high life, dancing their nights away and snorting copious amounts of cocaine. They tried to move in with Pauline's father, but he was unaccepting of his lover and the pair broke up. The murder stopped for a while, but he began killing again in December of 1985, claiming eight more victims by the next June. Police knew the murders were all linked, but didn't know who the perpetrator was. In September of that year, Pauline beat his cocaine dealer with a bat and the man went to the police. He was sentenced to 16 months in prison for the assault and found out that he was HIV positive, which at the time was a seeming death sentence. When released, he began killing indiscriminately yet again, even attacking two old women in the same day. His final victim was killed in November of 1987, at which time a previous victim, who he had left for dead, staged a miraculous recovery and was able to give police a description of her attacker. He was arrested a week later and confessed to all his crimes, claiming responsibility for 21 murders in all. By 1988, he was dealing with full-blown AIDS and became severely ill. Pauline died while awaiting trial, but his accomplice for the first round of killings was convicted and sentenced to life in prison. He was released in 2012, but has had problems finding and maintaining employment due to the notoriety of his crimes. If this is your birthday, hope you have a great day. Leave me a comment so I can wish you a happy birthday. If you know someone whose birthday it is today, send them this video. You can find out all about their birthday twin. And Thierry Pauline, I say, happy birthday, you bastard.